If you've tried creating a seamless three-part banner on Instagram lately and it looked off, you're not imagining it. Instagram has updated the grid of thumbnails to portrait. If you're trying to create a split image or seamless banner and it's not working out, you're gonna wanna follow this tutorial because this is the new way. You'll want to open up Canva and create a custom size design, and that design should be 30, 39 pixels by 13, 50 pixels tall. And that's gonna end up creating a banner that you can design into a seamless design. Now, once you've designed your banner, however you want it to look, whether it's one big image or you know different things put together like a collage, you're going to download it into a PNG file and you'll want to take that image and go to this app right over here, imagey.app. You're going to upload your file and split it into three vertical blocks. That'll give you three images and this used to be where we would stop with the process and go ahead and post the images. However, Instagram crops the images that you post on your profile. So what we need to do now is take our seamless banner and put it onto another set of images with edges that we're okay with being cropped off. So you'll take the three images that you've just created from the Imagey app and you will re-upload them into Canva and this time place them on a canvas that is sized 1080 by 1350. You'll want to place each one of your images that you've created in the center of this design. You can keep the background as white or you can make it match your brand. So if you have a strong color in your design or you just wanna make it black or blue, you can make it whatever color or design behind the image you want. Knowing that this part of the image will be seen if someone clicks on the post, but it won't be seen on your grid. I recommend using white for this or maybe black. What this does so that when Instagram crops it for the grid preview, it won't cut anything off of your seamless banner. Next, what you'll wanna do is download each of those three new images and you're ready to go post. You'll want to then upload your three images to Instagram one at a time. And once they're live and posted on your Instagram profile, you can tap the three dots on each post and pin them to the top of your profile. You'll wanna make sure to pin them in left to right order so that your banner lines up properly. And that's it. That's how you work with Instagram's new cropped and portrait size grid and still keep a clean, seamless top banner. If you'd like some free templates for this process, be sure to check my links below.